stick can in here, shall we? And this is, for people who haven't seen this deck before, this is an important note. This isn't a deck that is about beating things. This is a deck that asks the ever important question, do you have your things? And then when the answer is no, they die. Hey, Signal Sale, thanks for the four months. I appreciate it. Thanks for shipping your Bezo bucks this way again this month. Be on the draw. I, uh, I leave myself notes in my chat box and I have to write that down. Otherwise I'll, I'll forget and accidentally click be on the play. I will have you know, Tasty Cactus, that we went three and two the last time we played this deck. Thank you very much. Hey, Super Mina, thanks for the five month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. This hand with the Stone Cold Perfects can kill my opponent on turn one. And here's how. So we're going to keep, we're on the draw. We put Gemstone Caverns into play. We're going to exile this Omniscience. We're going to Spoils of the Vault for Pull from Eternity. And then pull, when we Spoils, we're going to Spoils past Narset. And we're going to pull Narset into the Graveyard. And then if we draw a land on turn one, we will Goryeo's Vengeance with Simeon Spirit Guide. So if we... If we... If we hit the Perfects here, we can kill them on turn one. Now there's a good chance, like, there's a non-zero chance that I cast the spoils and I die when it resolves. But if we believe, and I and then here's, here's where things fall apart. We didn't die on the spoils, but really I kind of wish we would have died because we didn't hit the Narset. So we might, we might be dead. We hit, we hit the land, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna hang out for a hot second. So I needed, I needed to spoils past Narset. So if there would have been a Narset on the way, on the way to casting this pull from Eternity, we would have been okay. But uh, we didn't, so we're probably dead now. Okay, Faithless Looting. This could, this could hit Narset. Rats. All right, so I'm gonna bin Pull from Eternity and Fury of the Horde here. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna pitch this. I'm gonna flashback Faithless Looting. All right, we'll move along with our lives. Get to board in four copies of Stony Silence. When you sideboard with this deck, you generally cut copies of Omniscience followed by Spoils from the Vault because you only need one Omniscience in the deck usually. Now, I don't think Twilight Prophet solves problems that Fairies has, Psycho. So. More, more four mana spells usually isn't the answer to, to the problems decks in Modern have. That, that's the cornerstone of why this deck is awesome, Goalie. It's just like, it has sweet things going on even when you lose. Narset feeling shy, we need to buy her some dinner first. God, I gotta sweet talk the Narset so she finds her way into the discard pile. I would not like to play first, stop asking. I mean, I guess I keep, right? Got turn two, Stony Silence. No, you, you never board more than four cards with this deck. So, never, never board more than four cards. Otherwise, you're overboarding. So, there's, there's four different planes in the sideboard. There's three Besage You, four Stony, four Leyline of the Sanctity, four Leyline of the Void. Never board in more than one of those cards. You pick one of those four and you board all of them in. Sometimes you board nothing in. Got to work my way back up again. Saigo, thanks for the two months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. In, um, in January, you're going to jump back up if you've got previous sub months. So, in January, they're changing it. 
So your Twitch sub badge is the total number of months you've been subscribed, not just continuous. So that's gonna be sweet. I assume we're gonna we're gonna knight a bunch more bunch of new people in in January, I assume, who've like subbed for little bits of months here and there. So our hand's not doing anything for a while, but hopefully the Stoney's gonna do the same to them. How do you feel about Vraska, Relic Seeker, and Sultai Control? She looks like a really strong... No, I think she's great. I think um, Assassin's Trophy and Relic Seeker are the two reasons to play. Yay, Modern! Woo! Modern! That's, that's fantastic. All right. So now they're going to sideboard in Anti-Stony Silence Hate, so I'm going to board this back out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this because they're bringing in Nature's Claim and just like go back to her game one configuration. I told you this deck can kill on turn two, chat. I told you, I told you this deck can kill on turn two. Got him. Got him. Thanks for being nice. When I met you at the Invitational, keep up the great content. Mr. Michael Carnage, thanks for the two-month resub. Hope you had a good weekend playing Magic. I appreciate the support. This deck frequently kills on turn two, just more often than not, it's itself. It's funny because it's true. I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Gemstone Caverns into play. Don't click the second one, they're legendary. And then we're going to go ahead and spoils for Gorio's Vengeance here. All right, down to four. If we hit Simeon Spirit Guide, we can kill them on one here. So I got two more shots at Simeon Spirit Guide. Gosh, we're so unlucky. All right, so I'll ditch this and I'll ditch this and then i'm gonna pass the turn i'm not gonna play this out obviously because it's legendary whereas next turn i can go make mana play this do this all right all right fury of the horde actually insulates us against breaking off here i need to I need to float and then play this keep the new one so just a rule of thumb that you ever want to be on a draw with a deck that's probably doing something sweet. Uh, now, even a lot of sweet decks don't want to be on the draw. This deck just wants to be on the draw because it does stuff with Gemstone Caverns on their turn. We went three and two last time we played this deck, chat. Don't act like this is some big surprise, okay? This deck is very capable of winning entire matches of Magic. Hit me, dealer. All right. Let's go, Narset. Let's go. Woof, woof, Narset. What is? What are? What are we doing here, babe? That's not. That's no. It's no good. No bueno. All right. So we got a. We got a Fury of the Horde here. Exile these two red cards. All right. All right. We're still going. We're so. Oh, we hit Omniscience too. That's good. So we hit Omniscience here. So Omniscience lets me cast this Brilliant Ultimatum, which then lets me cast another Brilliant Ultimatum. All right, then we got the Emrakul here. So that's lethal. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice KCI deck. Mm. It's a good morning for memes, chat. It's a good Mormon morning for memes. You should be paying us 10,000 bits to play this deck. It's pretty sweet. How we doing, folks? Good morning. Hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. I am super happy to be back after a long weekend away at SCG Con. For those that might be new, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. Um, I'm here playing Magic 30, 40, 50 hours a week. If you enjoy my stuff, please consider doing like Case and Drift just did there and subscribing 
to my channel. I appreciate that. Thanks for the two months, Kaysen. Uh, past subscribing, you can also support my stuff by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors, mtgotraders.com. Love to buy and sell some magic online cards. If you use code HOKO and PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Chat, chat, we finally made it. I have landed a sponsor that's going to feed me. So we have added uh, Neo Protein Bars. Hey, Kuzalo, thanks for the biddies. Good games, I appreciate that. Added Neo Protein Bars for our, our new sponsor for the stream. These things, actually, I ate them all weekend at SCG Con. They're quite good. They're going to be sending me a couple of boxes along with some dollar reduce for the sponsor. You can check them out at bit.ly forward slash hoogelbar. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, Warhammer, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. And of course, I haven't used my, it's been a while. My shuffling deck's been, been unshuffled for an entire weekend. BCW Supplies would love to help you protect your very valuable Magic the Gathering cards. Using code Jeff10 at BCWSupplies.com, you can save 10% on sleeves, deck box, and all sorts of other great card accessories there with them. We are 1 and 0 with the Narset Cannon to start today. Head down into the second match here. Yeah, Blue Black Fairies got bumped. A couple of, couple of beams had cut the lines up in. What do they taste like? So I actually, uh, I always sample or use all of the products before I take them on as sponsors. And the thing that I really like about the, the Neo bars is that they have a crunch to them as opposed to being really chewy like a lot of protein bars tend to be. Are they gluten-free? I don't know offhand. I would have to read, read the label. Well, this, this hand is sweet. So we have assembled the world's jankiest, uh, the world's jankiest in tomb. So we go ahead and we gemstone caverns, exiling Narset. I don't want to leave the stream. I think I'm going to join this call in 15 minutes to just mute my mic. <laughs> just remember if you have to talk to mute the stream, goalie. So if we draw Gorio's Vengeance here, we can kill them on turn one. We've had so many just like almost turn one kills in this league so far. Gosh, we're unlucky, chat. Just the world's unluckiest. Is today all cut the lines? Uh, Grishel Brand is not a cut the line. So Salt Eye Control was a cut the line with the asterisk um, to play it last today. So it was, a, it was a cut to the end of the line for the day. They are playing human, so we could get Thaliad or Meddling Mage next turn, which would be incredibly sad. This is definitely a matchup where we kind of need the turn ones. Just like, and like, this deck isn't super consistent. Obviously, but like, could you imagine flying to a Grand Prix or driving like four hours to a Grand Prix and like losing to somebody who lucks out with this on turn one and turn two? Just how miserable of an experience does that have to be? Do you think control X and standard need to have treasure map or search for a chance to be competitive? It probably depends on the deck. I think most mid range and control X probably want some treasure maps. Yeah, it's like losing to Cheerios. Yeah, I agree. Comple completely agree. I got turned to by Grishel Brands in my ninth round in Portland. Yep. All right, that's just a fantastic image. What's my favorite meme that we've played on stream? I don't know. And like now we're dead at this point because I actually can't kill them through blockers. So I think we're going to the next one here. I'm gonna take a draw step because they could mess it up and we could get lucky, but probably dead here. Or like we could hit an omniscience on the first one and then like go from there or like an enter the infinite. So, can't hurt to take one more draw towards Gorios. Be missed. We'll move along.
This is uh, this is a matchup where you click submit. Leyline, Leyline, Stony, Besage you. None of those are relevant here. Just click submit. Run back the main deck. F yeah, fifteen cards in, fifteen cards out. Shuff shuffle them in, cut them back again. How late am I to the meme cannon? Uh, this is match two. I think it's match two. We won match one. This is match two. His hand just doesn't do anything. It sucks to serum powder away two gemstone caverns, but the hand just doesn't accomplish anything. I think I serum again, right? You think? I think I serum again. And then I can spoils for pull and pull pull the narset. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this actually. So if we hit a land, we kill them on two. Assu assuming we don't die to spoils and they don't have disruption, we have a potential turn two kill here. Thank you for all the great content. I broke my leg a couple of months ago and you've been my main source of entertainment since I've been laid up. Chap, thanks for the two month resub. I appreciate the Twitch Prime. Hope you're hope you're getting better. Let's drop this into play and pass back. Yeah, yeah, there's four pulls in our deck, so pretty unlikely to die. Hopefully they just cast Mantis Rider here. If they play a disruptive card, we concede, which is unfortunate. All right, we're dead. Got it? Onward, upward, backward, forward. Remember, chat, you're not a deck that's about beating things. This is a deck where you go, do you have your thing? And when the answer is no, they die. And other times, other times they don't have it and you kill them. And it's quite wonderful. Decks that are incredibly interactive, like Just Guy Control and Humans and uh, Death Shadow, those are hard matchups for this deck. Decks like KCI and Storm that are just trying to race you, they're a little bit slower than our nut draws, so we can usually beat them. A little bit, little bit slower than us on average. Next victim, please. I look at this deck list, I don't understand the deck. Can you explain how we win? Yeah, you put you put Narset into play with Gorio's Vengeance, and then she attacks, getting a bunch of these cards that let her attack again, and you attack with Narset six to seven times. Uh, yeah, that seems great. This hand sets up to turn two pretty easily. We Faithless Looting the Narset. This hand could actually turn one if we hit Simeon Spirit Guide plus a, a black producing land, we can kill them on turn one. This is a lot different than Modern, if you're, if you're one of my normal standard watchers and you're, you're dipping into shit, try and poke into Modern for a hot second, Modern is an incredibly brutal and fast format. This deck is, is a meme, it's like, a joke to the point of what it does, but like, as far as the good decks in Modern 2, even the decks that are good in Modern, there's a lot of dying on turns two, three, and four in Modern. Modern games are frequently over by the fifth turn. Any, any game that goes past turn five in Modern, I would consider a long game. And for people that are wondering what happened there, my opponent cycled a Street Wraith and then played a discard spell, which meant they were playing uh, Grixis Shadow, which is basically an impossible matchup for our deck. It's one of those decks I just listed as being incredibly interactive that gives us a hard time. My girlfriend's nephew just started playing Magic. We're going up in February and she wants me to play with him and teach him how to play. I think I'm gonna teach him with Narset because it'll be funny. That's great, goalie. 
No, I don't want to play first. It's such a tilt that we keep winning die rolls with our deck that wants to be on the draw. This hand doesn't do anything. Um, this hand, like, also doesn't really do anything, right? Like, I can I can spoils on one for something, but, like, I don't have a good way to get a Narset into the bin, and I don't have a Gorio's Vengeance to get it back out of the bin. I guess, I guess this hand has lands in it. Okay, exile the second gemstone since it's legendary. Yeah, correct, Omni. All right, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm just gonna board in the ley lines here. Basic swamp means they're, they're probably beatable. We have a ley line out. And again, you cut the omniscient, so it spoils the vault when you board with this deck usually. Just talk to him like this is how normal decks play. Stupid modern players and their interaction. It's still incredibly bad, Josu. Like they have counter spells and graveyard hate on top of the discard spells. Uh, I have lots of things that I need to plug today at different points. One, if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, be sure to smash that like button, ring that bell, and drop a comment below. If you're thinking of cheering any bits, either to add a deck to the queue or, or move decks up in the queue, remember to use hashtag charity in all your cheers on this channel and any other channel on Twitch between now and the 27th. Any bits that are cheered using the charity hashtag, Twitch is donating 20% uh, of that to charity, and the streamer still gets the full amount. So Twitch is taking that 20% out of their cut, which is awesome. Very generous of them. Uh, and then the queue, the queue in general is open for business. So uh, modern, legacy, standard, get your deck submissions in. Hey, Frozen Kraken, thanks for the Twitch Prime support. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate the Bezo Bucks. Trying to find a standard deck. I really want Sultai Control to be good, but I think I have to settle on Jeskai Nexus. The Sultai deck that we played that had four Carnage Irons in it, I think is reasonable. This hand is absurd. This hand is really good. I am going to take some legacy decks again. I am not going to take a ton of legacy decks, but I'm going to take a non-zero amount. And I think the legacy decks are going to be only offline stream ones. So if you want, if you want to watch legacy, it's going to have to be pre-recorded and then uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, definitely, Kaysen. So if we draw a land or a Simeon Spirit Guide here, we get to kill them on turn one. Yeah, exactly like that, No Lava. Thank you for the support. Gosh, we're so unlucky. Why are we so unlucky, chat? We had 11 lands plus four spirit guides there. So we had, you know, 15 draws that killed them. All right. Do you have a surgical extraction? Otherwise, buckle up. For legacy, are you leaning more towards established decks or meme decks? Probably a mix of the two, Sabanite. I don't think I'm going to be doing... I think I'm going to be doing one or two Legacy decks a, a week tops. My plan is to do four to six offline videos that will be uploaded as YouTube only per week. All right, that's fantastic. So this is people asking, how do you win? Can I get you to play Legacy Infect? Yeah, Legacy Infect would be fine. Any, basically, any Brainstorm, Ponder, Force of Vol deck for Legacy is probably good to go. Because those are those are the good decks, right? Is this Pig Flooping better than Flooping Gristle Brand? In a competitive sense, this deck is worse. In a meme sense, it's much better. I don't mind if you do Land Nausea on YouTube if you'd like. I'd like to see the Mardu one live. Yeah, definitely, Goalie. 
So I get to cast one of these, so I'm casting him, or cool. Choose a pile to play for free. This one? This, this pile? I would like to play this pile for free. Yep, Spanish Inquisition is acceptable. Am I doing this right? Naya Ramp, please. Kaysen, thank you for the biddies. Kaysen, please submit the deck through the donation form and put in the comments that you sent the bits in. Ideally, again, remember, I would prefer if you put decks through the form before sending me money. So again, the, the bit.ly forward slash Google submit is how I stay organized. Helps me keep track of who's sending what and applying where. So please, please put it through the forum. This deck or Cheerios for more consistently tilting your opponent? I think Cheerios is probably a little bit more consistent than this. And they can both win on turn one. So probably Cheerios, you have to think that's slightly more competitive. Yeah, probably Rob Meadows, probably. Again, and all of the, will you play this? Use the form that's linked on my website, please. That that helps me stay organized. I never agree or disagree to things explicitly. Unless you're sending in $100 or more, you need to use the form. The form, form helps me stay organized except for very large donations. For large donations, I don't care. I'll play whatever you want. But for, for smaller donations, make sure you use the form. Helps me stay organized. My friend said you had a guide for playing Arena on Mac, but I can't find it. I have a guide for playing Magic Online. Oh God, this hand is good. Holy crap, this hand is good. It's even got the Leyline of Sanctity in it. What about tier threes where we have a usual deck? That's fine, Jekyll Girl. Our new viewers that exceeds Lantern, fair. All right, we need a Gorio's Vengeance, but I've got Faithless Looting. All right, if we draw Gorio's Vengeance, we have a turn one kill. Gosh, why are why are we so unlucky, chat? We're just we're just the gosh darned unluckiest. Just the gosh darned unluckiest. Submitted. Sorry about not following your clear, easy to follow instructions like a general member of Twitch chat. <laughs> Thanks for the extra bits, Kaysen. I'm gonna ditch these two. The third land lets me lets me flash back these lootings. And thank you for the support, Kaysen. I appreciate it. Can you play the People's Cannon on stream for Legacy? Uh, maybe. That would probably be a fine start of start of a Wednesday morning. You might have to wait a little bit extra, BMIC, but yeah, that would probably be one that I could get on stream eventually. All right, and then we have spoils for lethal next turn. We get to spoils for our Gorio's Vengeance and then uh, cast it. All right, who's, who's ready to die to the spoils of the vault? 44 cards in our deck for Gorio's Vengeance. <laughs> Listen, chat. If you are not lucky, this is not the deck for you. This is, this is the only, only for when you are very lucky is this the deck for you. Man, what are the odds on that? Just like four Gorios with, in 44 cards, just like straight up die. Are you not entertained? Kuzalu, thank you for the biddies. In all fairness, the opponent probably had crackling too. They probably did have did have some kind of burn. Gosh, we won four die rolls in this league and had to click no every time. What a tilt. So 
Stop calling your shots, right? Why? Why do I say these things? Um, red producing land, Narset, Faithless Looting is always a keep in this deck. Like, obviously we could not draw the Gorio and not draw the second land, but this is definitely a, a hand that's in the range of keepable. It's by no means anywhere close to guaranteed, but it's it's a keep. That, that's not exactly correct, Jekyll girl. 20 or more of 40 cards in, is that, is that the right math? I'm actually not sure if I have to sit there and think about it. That, so that sounds high. 8% sounds, my gut says 8% is high. My stomach isn't always right, but my stomach says that, that that's a high estimate. I have a board game command, I think. Yeah, there we go. There's some of my favorite board games. How did Cheerios finish? I had to take my final. Oh, we went three and two, right, Cat? All right, Gorio's Vengeance. Sure, my called shots don't work now, huh, Modo? The called shots only work when it spoils the vault lethal myself. All right, man, my stomach was wrong. Okay, my stomach was wrong. That means I need to feed it, my wonderful Neobar. I don't think Stony Silence is good enough for this matchup, so I'm just going to click Submit. Thank you, Rycap, for the biddies. Be happy to load this one back in. Pull from Eternity is like the world's jankiest Intomb. You can exile Narset with Gemstone. I don't know why my Zoom key isn't working. You can exile Narset with Gemstone Caverns and then pull it into your graveyard. Or you can Spoils of the Vault past Narset and pull it into your graveyard. Oh yeah, you can also you can also exile Narset to Serum Powder. That's true too. Yes, we got three ways to get Narset into exile, so we can pull her into the graveyard. Thanks everyone for hanging out the other way. We've got 800 people here already this morning for Modern. That's good. It's a good count for both Modern and some spreadsheets. For people that did not follow my stuff over the weekend, if you don't follow me on Twitter or YouTube, I've started posting some YouTube exclusive content. So there were four modern leagues that went up on my youtube channel that were not streamed live and moving forward i'm going to be publishing four to six youtube exclusive videos per week that are leagues played with viewers submitted decks you're going to want to make sure you sub on my youtube channel over there to get notifications on new stuff that goes up live there this has officially been my longest healthy relationship thanks to the beebs dreams and magics it's going on extras thanks to the 11 months welcome back
You will find all my stuff over there. So I did four, four Modern Leagues over the weekend. My goal is that I'm gonna be publishing new Magic content every single day moving forward. So on days that I am not live uh, on Twitch, I'm gonna have make sure there's new YouTube stuff going up on those days. All right, so this is this is actually a hand where we hope to we hope so we're gonna our turn one is going to be spoils for pull from eternity, and we're hoping that when we spoils we go past a narset so we can pull that narset into our graveyard. The Beast Whisperers seem interesting, Hyder. I'm, I'm interested to test those. Was the Blue Black Pirates deck a bad meta choice and invitational? This standard format is a lot like modern right now in that you basically can't metagame it. There's a bunch of a bunch of decks in the format and you just can't hope to beat all of it. It was literally the top card of my deck. Lit literally was the top card of my deck. So I'm actually not gonna play a land here because if I draw a Narset naturally, I wanna be able to discard her to hand size. Listen, chat, I wasn't kidding. If you're not lucky, you need to... You need to not play this deck. Woof. I'm a three drop now, just like Karn. Boshek, thanks for the 313 sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. So probably dead. They're going to play a car and exile my land. I'm going to concede. Somebody donate for JAC plays. Shubby, thanks for the five month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. The donation queue is open for normal normal donations again for all formats. So $10, you can get a deck like, like JAC into the queue. All right, we went one and four. And my only conclusion can be that this deck, that this deck is perfect and you should make no changes. If you want to see this deck win some matches, this is again one of the many decks you can find on my website, jeffhoagland.com, modern decks in the meme section. Um, but don't go anywhere, chat, if you're watching live. Uh, we're going to be heading into Grishelbrand next, just another, another good fair balance modern Magic the Gathering deck.